Hey guys. Welcome nice. back to EIS Alaska. <laughs> so we're in Juneau down at the hatchery. Um, got some net pens out here in the ocean and fish ladder right here. Behind us is a fish ladder that the fish come up, make their way up into the hatchery where we got to harvest some eggs and rear the next generation. So yeah, it's pretty cool looking. You can see some fish down there. Collecting up over here. Um, Chums, I think, right? Yeah, I think so. A lot of people down here fishing and along the southern shoreline. We'll go so, check yeah. it out, huh? Yeah, let's head down. fish there. Put that lens on the camera so you can see them. Oh, do you have some polarized? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that makes a big difference. So there's a glass window up here at the top. Oh, there is? Oh, that only quite a few in there yeah so chums are also called dog salmon they have distinctive stripes down the side as they age and they come into fresh water and get older really good eating very very moist high oil content mm. not as popular as like sockeye salmon or king salmon but delicious salmon. Yeah, I think they have a stronger flavor, so maybe most people get kind of turned off from that, more fishy. Yeah, maybe the, the name too. Chum, yeah. dog salmon. Yeah. Yeah, that could be too. Yeah. But uh, but they're delicious. In my opinion, uh, they're more more moist than silver. Yeah. Oh, they're absolutely delicious. If you ever get a chance, get some. They're good. Yeah. Yeah, they were great. Yeah, they hold well. They're really a lot of oil content. Really good for the smoker too. Yep. All right. Same way they swim up a river. Oh. Yes. You just see different little levels, and they have little slots for them to shoot through. That's, That's like a big a, one right there. Like a ladder. Oh boy. Is that a king? That's actually a king. Yeah, that is a king. See the king salmon right there, Dad? Big. No trouble hooks allowed. There's like more and more as we go up. Yeah, you can get pinned right against that. He's a lot. Oh, I want to stand on my. Go up to that uh, see-through spot, huh? Yeah. Oh, nice. You going up or down? <laughs> Got confused, I'd say. A lot of fish in here, huh? <laughs> yeah. I wonder, they have a gate up there, huh? Uh, probably, yeah. Looks like it's open right now. Yeah. Oh, you can see them good there. Oh, wow. Excellent smoke for canned. 
I knew it. That nice king right there. Ah, wow, oh, he's, he's a beauty, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Look, you don't see him. This guy back here. His nose is right back here. Oh, see if he comes cool. forward again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so shy. you can really see the distinctive bars on the chum <laughs> salmon. That distinguishes them from all the others. They look huge. Is, are they getting magnified in there? No, they're big fish. Yeah, the chum salmon are big, are big fish. Because they're, you know on the same size as like silvers. I should Maybe know that. even like a large silver. From Saining. Yeah. Nope, there's another, that's a king too, huh? Mm -hmm. That one's got a gouge in it from a hook, huh? Yeah, they're starting to get some teeth on them, aren't they? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's cool I wanted the other thing. king to come back forward. I know. Big one. Oh, look at the little Dolly Varden. Scooching around in there. <laughs> yeah. <He's> like, oh. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, he was coming this way, huh? Look at him. There's the, two of them. Yeah. They're just hanging out in there, probably feeding on eggs, I'm sure. Yeah. Good life for them right now. Oh, that's pretty cool. Want everyone to see, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. Pretty cool. How thick you I like how they put was? a window here. That's yeah. neat. Yeah. But this is awesome. Yeah. It's full. Full of fish. It's great. Go up around the corner here. That's the building. So that's the net pens where they rear the fish. Let them imprint on this area before they release them. And they return. A lot of this is for sport fishing and then also the commercial fishing too. Pretty nice little sculpture out front. Mama bear and her cubs. There's some big old kings in there too. I just saw one roll right here. Oh yeah. A couple big ones laying there. So this looks like a sorting area. They'll open these gates and let fish into these runs and sort them. And then it looks like that's their processing area in there where they'd do the egg take and fertilize them and, and uh, get next year's production ready. Pretty cool. A lot of fish in there, Dad. Yes, there is. Look at all of them here. There's a couple big old kings in there. Yeah. Are you getting pumped out right there or trying to go in? They're getting trying to go in. 
they? Yeah. That's just the outflow from up here. Mm -hmm. Just collecting up right there. Now the eagle's getting ideas. <laughs> so are they raised from egg here in the hatchery? Right. Then they're, like Dad says, they're putting put into these pens down here to get imprinted and they get released out to sea. Yep, they raise them there and probably get them a little bit bigger, imprint them. Farmed fish, these are not. Nope, this is just a hatchery. These are wild fish returning to the source where they were where they were uh, raised, I guess. So this say. is similar to Katoy, right? Yeah. They do the same thing there. Exact same thing. Yeah. yeah. Except they don't have a cool fish ladder, I don't think. No, they don't. Something similar, I'm sure, but not not the same. Mm -hmm. It's not open to the public. It's Remote, so. Yeah, so this is like uh, they do it for just economic, you know, benefit, right? Yeah, to, for the most part, to enhance commercial fisheries. So it sounded like they take some of these smolts and release them in other places too. Yeah, and the, the chums come back there. It creates opportunities for commercial fishermen in this region mm -hmm. uh, to harvest the fish and uh, make some money, and then it also provides. You know, food for sport fishermen for personal use. Yeah. These folks are just out here catching fish and filling up their freezer, so mm -hmm. it's kind of a win-win for everybody. Yeah, definitely. And the eagles too, look at them up there. Just, yep, lots of eagles around, enjoying I'm sure. So, it's a good thing and, uh, you know, these hatcheries are, are paid by uh, usually uh, a tax on the commercial fishermen. So, I mean, it's all it's all funded by commercial fishermen for the most part, usually. Yeah. In the Kodiak area, and um, it's a good thing. Yeah, a little symbi symbiotic relationship. Yeah. Fishermen, hatcheries. So. Yeah, on our uh, hatch or on our Katoy video, lots of people accused us fishermen of overfishing. Yeah. But that's not what it is it's a terminal fishery these fish have nowhere to go except right here yeah to come home and die and that's it yeah. and very few of these will ever actually have eggs taken from them and fertilized and be the next generation of fish a lot of these will be caught by commercial fishermen not here but in route to this area and caught by sports fishermen and the ones that they do harvest will uh, some will go into cost recovery to help pay for the facility and the people that work here, the infrastructure, and then uh, and then they'll also take a certain amount of eggs and and uh, males and fertilized eggs. So it's, it's, a, it's a really good thing. Yep, these are completely wild fish, though, for the you know for the most part. They just come back to a hatchery. So. fish yeah so there's three gear types down in southeast Alaska trollers that use hook and line to harvest fish saners that use a big net with the purse line they surround the fish they purse up the bottom and close off the escape route and then they haul the net back onto the deck and then gill netters that use mesh to entrap the fish by their gills. All of these methods are extremely economically friendly with low bycatch rates here in Alaska.
hybrids. See how many hatcheries have been around. Wow. That's a lot of released salmon. 18 billion. little breezy this afternoon. Yeah. Yep, there's some blue water. Yeah. Be um, interesting to know where this comes from. It's like it's probably coming from across the street, but maybe this watershed here, I'm guessing. Yeah. Comes out from underneath the highway and collects here and pumped over, so pretty cool operation. Yeah. You need to see inside. I was yeah. wondering where they were getting their water from. Makes yeah. sense, fresh water. Yep. Yeah, so. Nice gate. <laughs> Fish and salmon eggs. <laughs> pretty cool operation, so. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for joining us in beautiful downtown Juneau at the Macaulay Salmon Hatchery. Yeah, guys, I'm glad we could bring you along. Yeah, it's pretty neat to check out this fish. I didn't expect so many fish in there. Yeah. Good time lot. of year to be here. I guess so. Yeah. Must have hit it right at the peak, so yep. that was pretty cool to see. That viewing uh, window was awesome. Yeah. Pretty cool. Get right in there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so thanks for joining us, folks. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, guys, we'll see you next time. Yep. Bye, guys. Bye. Yep.